Hey lovelies and welcome to today's video. Don't mind how I'm looking in today's video. I just posted my 16 week pregnancy update for baby number two on my channel. If you guys haven't seen that yet and you wanna check it out, I will link it on the iCard up on the top of the screen here for you guys to go watch after you're done watching today's video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than the pregnancy content. I talked about in that pregnancy update video that I have been having spurts of energy and a lot of that has turned into what you could classify now as nesting. However, as I also discussed, the nesting itself urge does not last for very long, or I should say the urge lasts. However, my energy and my stamina does not. So here recently, I have been taking on small organizational projects here around the home of things that are just driving me nuts. We've been living in this home for a little over a year now and a lot of the places in our home have not been touched since we moved in. One of the places I started on was our medicine cabinet over here. And that's what all of this is. As you guys know, I had a sinus infection a couple weeks ago and then Calla was dealing with some extra potent allergies here recently. So I was really in our medicine cabinet for a couple weeks there and I just realized it was super disorganized, which totally drives me insane because it's hard to get to stuff. You have no idea what you have. So I immediately started pulling everything out of the cabinet, as you guys can see, because it's now right here. I went through everything and I got rid of stuff that was expired. Um, that's pretty much it, or things that were basically empty. And then I purchased several different organizational items for the cabinet itself. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to be filming this. So that project is what we're gonna be finishing up today. My family's gonna be so happy because this has been sitting here for like, maybe two weeks at this point. So I hope you guys are excited to follow along with some of my nesting series types videos. I'm gonna keep doing this with you guys and sharing the content of the places that I organize in my home and how I make things just more efficient everywhere. If you guys are just now finding me through this video, hello, my name is Elise. I am the mama of the Sykes fam. My husband and I have one daughter already. Her name is Kala. She is two years old and we are pregnant with baby number two due early in 2020. If you guys are interested in this type of content, I would definitely say to stick around by hitting that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already. It's completely free, as I always say, and it really helps out my channel. So be sure to subscribe before you leave today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see some more organizational content on my channel, and let's get started. cabinet just because some of the medicines had been put away with like spills on them and I don't know that this cabinet ever got wiped out when we first moved in. I did a wipe down with just the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaning spray. This is the snowdrop scent so I'm really excited for all of the winter stuff to be coming out. I picked it up from Target. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some drawer liner to put down as a cushion and also as a gripper inside of the cabinet. This is the brand that I picked up, it's Contact Brand. So they make a lot of contact paper. And I have this in pretty much already every other cabinet in our kitchen. This is gonna not only help protect the cabinet itself, but it'll also help us to more easily set things down inside the cabinet and not have things fall over, get pushed around as much, and get lost. and cut a piece and fit it to the bottom cabinet. Because all of the levels are the same length, I'm then just gonna pull this out, make adjustments as I need to, and then easily cut two more strips to put on the top two levels.
shelves now have the contact paper covering or the gripper and I'm just gonna start organizing the medications that I have, kind of where I want them to go within the shelves themselves. I've picked up a few organizational tools that I'll show you guys really fast. These were some organization baskets that I picked up from Home Goods. They came together in a two pack. I think they're really cute. I'm gonna try and use them in here if I can. If I can't, I'm gonna find somewhere else to use them in the house, maybe in Cala's room. I also picked up one kitchen organizer bin just empty a shorter squattier one and then I also picked up three different little lazy Susan um, like turntable organizers because those are gonna be so helpful especially for harder to reach items that way you're not tipping things over and constantly trying to see things that are on the back that you can't use so yeah I'm just gonna try to figure out where to put everything um, most easily accessible for us <music> what I assume is gonna be the first round of organization on it. And what I mean by that is I really like sit with stuff over time and a couple things like I never have to make tweaks again, but I feel like some of these I might, some of these areas I might need to make tweaks in. So I was just gonna go over what I did exactly. As you guys can see, it's a pretty tiny cabinet. Um, there is additional space, but it's like behind the door. So that's part of the problem is like you have to reach around a bunch of stuff. So I'm really happy with this first shelf. I'm using this first space right here um, for things that we need kind of more quickly. Some of them we need every day. Um, so allergy type medicines, pain reliever, things that like you know, you need more often than not. And the back of this one, I'm using it as more for heavier duty sinus and cold and flu type stuff, which again, you kind of like want to easily grab when you need it. But at the same time, it's not something that we're gonna use all the time. Hopefully we don't ever have to use it again, right? And then back here is kind of just a bunch of Kala's stuff. So I put in um, more cold and flu stuff, band-aids. Again, we don't need that as often. Cough drops, um, but again, still more easily accessible because it's down here on the first shelf. Up above that, for now, I'm gonna use this as another area that we access more frequently. Um, so obviously I'm gonna put the things that we don't use as much like up in that top bin. I have like an extra emergency kit. I have extra first aid stuff. So then the next easier to access place is the second shelf and I put Tums, stomach type stuff in there, um, skin reaction stuff here, um, and then just some overflow of syringes that we have. One of the reasons I really wanted to get this space organized is because it is a place that we access pretty much every day for at least one thing. And I know it's gonna be a huge place for organization for breastfeeding stuff. Um, so things like my pump parts, bottles. I really anticipate maybe reorganizing this again once I figure out what's happening in that situation. You know, how much I'm actually breastfeeding versus bottle feeding, pump parts, things like that. Cause you really just never know how your experience is gonna go until it happens. So 
for now I'm really happy with the way things look and that's gonna be it for today's video I will plan to keep you guys posted here on my channel in case I make any major updates and then of course I will get you guys a video about how I organized maybe my pump parts and all of the things that I use for breastfeeding because it's very likely that I'm gonna be using the same space to organize all of that as well so today's organization video was pretty small not a lot of stuff happening but i'm really happy to now have this space like cleaned up and it looks so much nicer and i know it's going to be so much easier to use too don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys are into the organization stuff especially kind of related to the nesting phase don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already before you leave today's video you can hit the red subscribe button down below to do that and i would love to have you guys leave me a comment down below let me know what is one of the spaces in your home that you really want to tackle organization wise I keep bringing up this next space but I don't know when it's gonna happen it has to happen sometime but I'm talking about my master bathroom my vanity in the master bathroom is insane and I really want to tackle that I don't know if it's gonna be next because I'm gonna to have to do a lot of in-depth shopping of things that are going to help me to organize that space but I'm excited for the future of when it's going to be organized so yeah leave me a comment down below what's one space in your home that you guys would love to see organized and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye guys